Greetings, Otaku Faithful. Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, and I'm here to bring you yet again another Sons of Anarchy episode review right here on Otaku Assemble Weekly. As always, I'm here to bring you the latest in this week's Sons of Anarchy episode review. Now, this is Season 4, Episode 9, entitled Kits. So, pretty much, we pick up where we left off last week, and that was, uh, yeah, Piney got whacked last week, got snuffed out, it's gone, man, it's done, it's fucking done, son. Yeah, At the end of last week's episode, we saw Clay kill Piney, that son of a bitch. And we pretty much pick up where that left off. Uh, it's the morning after. And first one to come across Piney's corpse is Gemma. Gemma comes across it, you know. Uh, actually, matter of fact, now that I think about it, the, uh, the scene which... Well, the scene in which Gemma finds Piney's body, you know, that was an interesting scene in itself. But... What I'm more concerned with is the scene we get when Gemma and Wayne are both at the, at the scene. Because what happens is uh, Wayne pretty much tells Gemma the, you know, that, hey, Clay, uh, he read the letters before he burned them. Um, so he knew about that. And he all, like, actually, this is the first time when Wayne has actually confronted Gemma about her involvement in JT's murder because he asked her straight up is like look did you knew did you know why Clay killed JT like did you know what was the driving force behind that and and he he asked her politely he's like don't lie to me and Gemma does because she tells him that I didn't know what the details were um which of course as we all know is a lie so, but then of course, you know, uh, in that scene, that's also when Wayne confesses that, you know, he knew that would happen. And that's why he's been uh, keeping an eye out on Tara because she's next. She's next on Clay's list. So, um, okay, so what else occurs in this week's episode? Um, pretty much, the club finds out that apparently... Uh, Leroy and the Niners, they had made a deal with the Limbo Guard, uh, is that the, not Limbo, Le what is it, Limbo, Lebo, I don't, don't fucking care, um, but the rival cartel, and in a failed fucking attempt by the Garlito cartel to try and set up an ambush, I, that shit was just moronic. I swear to God, like, I'm sorry. This shit is stupid. The, I'm sorry. This, this show is starting to piss me off to high heaven because it's bad enough that the club is already in too deep with this cartel. But I'm sorry, this cartel is fucking incompetent. They can't even set up a simple ass fucking ambush and then to try and make themselves look big and bad you know try to keep what shitty ass reputation they already have they attempt to kill Leroy and his and his crew for what I'm sorry but it's kind of hard to sit there and play big bad wolf when the wolf in sheep's clothing has already been exposed it's like you try to set up this futile fucking ambush and then when that shit don't go your way, you want to take out your frustration on these guys. For what? To make yourself feel better? To make yourself look like you, you're you meant to be feared? I'm sorry. The cartel is bullshit. S seriously. They're bullshit. Dumb. A, a bunch of dumb fucks. Seriously. We were led to believe that these were, you know, military trained dudes, you know, whenever they get called in, shit gets done. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. They're a fucking joke. 
a fucking joke. Oh, and uh, Romeo's number two? He's a fucking ass clown. I said it. I said it. I say it again. He's a fucking ass clown. All right. So, uh, so let's talk about what happened with my man Jax this week. Okay. Uh, well, Jax was the the cool head during that all that fucking chaos, all that, all that, that that fucking three ring circus, you know. Um, Jax was the one who kept the cool head, you know. He was able to get Leroy and his boys out of harm's way, um, which led to an interesting scene between him and Bobby. When Bobby pretty much lets Jax know that, yeah, Clay told me you wanted out, and uh, of course, you know. Um, but didn't I see this thing coming earlier in the in the season when Jax, you know, because. If you will go back to the season premiere, when Jax and Clay made that deal, Clay was supposed to keep that shit between the two of them. And he went ahead and he told fucking, uh, he told Bobby about it. Uh, now granted, I, uh, Jax did tell Opie about it, but Clay wasn't supposed to talk with that shit about nobody, yo, uh, about that shit with nobody. So instantly, right there, boom, that deal was broken. Uh, and now Jax knows about it. But I got to tell you, my favorite scene in this week's episode was the conversation between Jax and Clay. Because Jax told him, it's like, look, uh, we, need to find a, we need to find a way to get out of this fucking uh, cartel deal. And when that happens, I'm fucking gone. And, you know, Clay is like, well, we'll say, man, we were supposed to see this through to the end. And Jax like, nah, fuck that shit. Because as far as I'm concerned, you all, you already fucking uh, broke our deal. Cartel was supposed to be good for the club. And it ain't been nothing but fucking mayhem. It ain't been nothing but fucking chaos and misery to the fucking club. Not to mention you went ahead and you ran your mouth, your mouth off to Bobby. So now he knows I want out anyway. It's like, you know what, man? Fuck you. Fuck you. So Jax gets up. Taking his leave and then Clay made a comment about Tara. Jax told that motherfucker, look man, you make another comment like that, I'm going to beat your fucking fist into the goddamn table. Yeah. Fucking right, Jax. That's what I'm talking about, man. Stick it to that nigga Clay, man. Because I can't fucking stand Clay no goddamn more. I used to like Clay. I can't stand his ass no more. Whole Clay ass get hit by a fucking bus. Can't stand that motherfucker no more, man. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Uh, oh, the whole thing with, uh, what was Homeboy? Was it, uh, I can only remember his first name, Lincoln, the uh, assistant attorney. I think it was Lincoln Cooper was his name. Uh, but pretty much the assistant attorney, they're going here with, okay, we saw in the, in their, you know, in their operation, in their little room, we saw that they had, you know, a plan B, plan A, plan B type deal. Seems like they're going ahead with plan B. Plan B is to turn Otto against the club. And I think they're also trying to turn... I think they're still trying to turn Juice. I don't think they've given up on Juice yet. Why? Because they wouldn't have brought him into... You know, in, into the room in the first place. They wouldn't have... Uh, they wouldn't have tried to push his buttons in this week's episode. But pretty much, they let Juice know. Lincoln went ahead, talked to uh, Otto, and he's trying to persuade Otto to turn on the club. And they let Juice know that if Otto turns on the club, they're going to squeeze the club. They're going to use the club's criminal history to, uh, you know, long story short, their way to the real IRA. Well, no, their way to the to the cartel. And then the IRA is going to go through the sons and there will be uh, and. The sons are going to take a lick. They're going to take a major lick. Many of the members, they're going to get locked up. It's not going to turn out well for them at all. Um, let's face it, they're just a middleman. Um, however, federal government is going to rack up on them charges. They're going to take them casualties. So, yeah, you know, we're just using you to get to the cartel and to get to the real IRA. But you motherfuckers are going to, uh, y'all going to get locked up anyway. So... It's a lose-lose situation. Um, and not to make this video too long, that's going to bring me to the last scene in this week's episode, which pissed me off to no end. And I'm pretty sure next week review, I'm going to be pissed off 
to no end. Why? Because they're going to kill Terra. They're going to kill her off. We've been seeing this coming. And it's going to go into motion next week. Why? Because we had this little conversation between Gemma and fucking Clay. Gemma made Clay promise not to hurt Terra. And of course he lied to her just like he lies to everyone else. And this motherfucker at the end of the goddamn uh at the end of the goddamn episode made the phone call in order to set the hit in motion. Well, this motherfucker doesn't know that Jax is going with Terra out of town. In next week's episode along with their boys. And they're going to go ahead and they're going to pull the trigger on that thing in next week's episode. I saw the goddamn preview. They're going to roll on Jax and Tara when they're out of town with their kids. Snatch up Tara. Jax going to have to go fucking chase them down apparently. But yeah, Tara's done. She's fucking done. This is bullshit. This is horseshit at its finest. Can't get attached to nobody on television no fucking more. Because networks and production companies pull this shit all the time. First they took my nigga Ned, now they gonna take my baby Terry. This is bullshit. This is horse shit, man. Seriously. I'm fucking done, son. I'm fucking done. I'm gonna wrap up this goddamn video. I, I'm gonna say my piece. This gonna be some bullshit. So that'll do it for me for this week's Sons of Anarchy episode review. This is Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, and I'm fucking done, son. Fucking done. This is bullshit. Later.